Hello there. Welcome to another poor painting video on ANSYS artistry. Thank you for joining me here today. Today I'm not going to be doing a Dutch pour. Instead, I'm going to be doing a technique called swipe. The vision for this painting is to make the painting look like a feather. So I'm going to be using pieces of a hair comb. So I've cut down a few pieces of it. A regular hair comb. I'm going to be using these pieces to swipe the paint across uh, this canvas. Today I'm going to be using a canvas size 12 by 24 inches. Um, I'm just going to try and make one big huge feather on this. Uh, I'm, I want to have the base to be white and the feather itself to be a combination of blues and greens. Of course a little bit of gold in it and zinc white in it. Uh, all these paints have similar consistency as my Dutch pour. So the paint mixture is one part paint, two parts Floetrol and a little bit of water. Uh, make sure they all have similar consistency and I hope that it's going to turn out well. So I'm going to put down this white base paint and I will be right back. All right, I've put down the base paint, which is actually the titanium white uh, from Blickrylic. I've mixed it with Floetrol and water. Now it's time to pop all these air bubbles. Okay, now I'm going to use one of the paints to draw the shape of the feather here, the center of the feather. Let's make it look like that. Okay, one more layer of this paint. So the green that I just used is Hooker's Green Permanent by Liquitex. Then I'm going to be using Thalo Cyanine Blue by Liquitex as well. All right, Yellowish Green by Amsterdam. I'll use the gold by Liquitex now. Last color is the Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. Just a bit more of this. Okay. Now, topping it off by zinc white. All right, let's start swiping this.
pretty happy with how this side has turned out. I might need to add a little bit more paint um, before I swipe on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess I forgot to add the gold before I added the blue. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the blue on top. All right, and the zinc white. Okay. Go ahead and swipe on the other side.
I'm debating if I should draw the wine now or after this is dry. I think I'm going to stop now and draw the wine um, after this one dries because I want it to be a perfect uh, line. Um, um, since this is too fluid right now, I'm thinking if I make the line now, uh, the paint movement might ruin it. So I'm gonna let it dry like this. Look how pretty this one looks. I've painted my fingers as well. That's all right. I'm gonna just spread um, part of this or make this part a little bit more wider. All right, if I keep working on it, I'm 100% sure I'm going to ruin it. So let's stop now. I'm gonna erase this a little bit here. Okay, stop now, right? I am going to stop now. I'm done with today's painting and it turned out to be amazing. Amazingly beautiful. I love it. I love the colors. I love the shape of it. I love how it's filling up the canvas but still giving me negative space. I am definitely sure I'm going to try this technique and do another or different composition for sure beautiful very happy with today's turnout i'll get you down now to show you all the small details of how you know when you uh, swipe the comb across the paint how it creates those patterns just beautiful so i'm going to bring you down so you can check all these out okay all right here is the close-up Look at the design that the comb swipe has created. Beautiful. This color combination itself is superb. The green and the blues with the gold. Yeah, it doesn't create mud, so it is one of the safest color combinations to work with. Look at how these colors have blended in. Just perfect. With the wine, this is gonna look like a real feather. The color combination is just like a peacock feather. So if I drew the eye of the feather, probably I can make this feather look like a peacock feather. Well, that's an idea for another day. But today here it is. Just beautiful, I love it. The gold in here is going to give a shimmer. I love how this design the comb has created. Just perfect. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for being here. If you've liked this video, please do support my art channel by subscribing to it. I thank you for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.